Welcome to Cooking with Shams. Today we are making a delicious braised cauliflower and mutton. I'm using some new spices today from Mar Maharaja's Spices. Let's, so let's go ahead. In goes some whole spices, which is sautéing in the oil, and one large onion going in. Today I'm excited to share a recipe that's always been close to my heart is this delicious braised cauliflower and mutton. This is a dish my family has enjoyed for generations. Now I added some salt and one tomato, one large tomato. We will allow this to soften. Let it cook to tender and I add a tablespoon of ground ginger and garlic. I'm going to use one tablespoon of Amma's Caro uh, Kashmiri chili powder and one tablespoon of Kashmiri red chili powder. One tablespoon of biryani mix, one tablespoon of sumph and half a teaspoon of turmeric powder give it all a good mix wow look at this color this is actually my first time using another spice because I don't really like changing my spices but let's go ahead and give it a try and I will tell you exactly how this curry was so we leave this to simmer for two to three minutes on low as you can see it's cooking on low so I will be adding the meat I'm cooking a B1 back leg so this will be taking a little bit of time so just be patient and as you can see there's no excess water we want to allow this meat to braise on low heat and let it just absorb all the spices that is in it. I will be adding some water shortly. In goes 500 ml water. We are going to give this curry a mix and just allow it to cook. It's giving us a good boil and it's cooking on medium heat. This delicious curry can turn humble ingredients into something truly special. It's just about taking time and putting some passion into your cooking. Look at this. It still has to dry up a bit. The tender mutton, soft braised cauliflower and a flavorful curry comes together in a perfect harmony all being budget friendly as well. In goes half a cup of frozen peas which was rinsed and left in the colander. As again I said no excess water in the curry. It's cooking in its own juices. Just be very mindful how you mixing the curry. Be very gentle because you don't want to break the cauliflower so just move it around very gently whether you're cooking for your loved ones or simply looking to stretch a small portion of meat into a hearty meal this recipe will deliver comfort and tradition in every bite my friend look at this curry when you see the oil surfacing as you can see so just move it around a little, we're not stirring, we're just very gently moving the curry a bit. And that's how you should be when you are, uh, you want to move the curry around, just be very gentle. And I must say the spices was absolutely delicious and I would highly recommend Maharaja's spices because the color the flavor 
and the aroma was absolutely igniting. Go ahead and give them a try and you will most definitely love it. Look, I am using just the spices only and it was super delicious. I will have all the ingredients listed in the description and uh, give it a try my friends as always I bring to you all simple recipes you can serve this delicious curry as you can see with basmati rice some salad on the side and yes enjoy it and your family will as well <music>